Well, hello. Uh, my name is Chef Fernando Mujica. I am here with uh, Columbus State Hospitality Programs. Um, so we want to welcome you to this video. Uh, we are going to walk you through a very easy, a very simple um, roast uh, chicken recipe, right? Now, I do want to show you a couple of things. Um, you can certainly roast the chicken whole or you can cut the chicken in half and roast it and, and it will have the same effect, right? Uh, roasting is very easy, very simple technique. But it's also something that it's uh, a very important and, and very hard to master. Um, so it's one of those simple yet um, challenging enough. Um, what we're going to show you though, like I said, you can certainly roast this whole, it will have the same effect. But what I want to show you is I want to show you how to fabricate down um, a whole chicken, right? What I mean by fabricate? Fabricate is um, the process of breaking down a piece of uh, protein, um, say a fish, uh, a whole loin of beef, or a chicken. Um, and breaking it down to into portions, right? So um, out of this chicken, we're going to end up with uh, four portions, right? Um, that you can serve. So one one chicken uh, will help uh, serve four people. So I'm gonna walk you through that. Uh, and then I'm gonna walk you through how to do a basic roast. Um, so we'll start with the chicken. Now we have a whole chicken here. Um, one thing that uh, I would like to, to point out is I'm only working with one chicken right now. Um, so um, I have a container that I'm working into. Uh, now, if I was doing um, 10 of these um, at a restaurant or, if, or, or in class, if we were doing in, you know 10 or 20 of these at a time, I'll certainly have an um, ice bath over here. And what I mean by an ice bath is we'll have a container with ice um, and then the container that we're working into will be on top of that. So um, as we're working, we're keeping the chicken cold um, and we're working into a container that's also cold so that it will, it will keep that temperature. Um, certainly wouldn't need that today, uh, just because again, we're only doing one, and, um, but again, if, if it was a higher volume, we'll do that. So, a um, couple different ways to do this. Uh, neither way is right nor wrong. Um, it really just all depends on what makes you more comfortable, uh, what makes you more, um, how you learn, how you uh, do that. So this is how I learned um, when I was younger in the industry. And so, um, it, over the years, it got, became really comfortable for me to do it this way. So. Um, I'll show you that, uh, like I said, but there's, there's, there's certainly uh, other ways to do it. Um, one thing I do also want to point out is that um, while we, um, in class and, and, and certainly in the restaurants and in the industry, uh, we do point out a lot um, about safety and sanitation, um, cross-contamination. Um, you know, certainly as you may know, chicken is very um, a, a high, high um, risk as far as cross-contamination and so on. So. Um, a lot of people will wear gloves when they're fabricating protein or when they're handling chicken, just period. Um, raw chicken. I don't particularly like to wear gloves when I'm fabricating proteins. Um, I certainly don't pay attention to wash my hands beforehand, make sure that, um, you know, I'm keeping an eye on my cross-contamination and so on. Um, but the reason I don't wear gloves when I'm breaking down proteins is because I want to be able to feel um, that what, what I'm, uh, the chicken I want to be able to have that feel into it. And so when you wear gloves, certainly that goes away a little bit. Uh, but again, just uh, certainly follow whatever your your um, local head cold is and so on. But but um, just something like I say, uh, just uh, I, I like the, the, the feel of what I'm breaking down so I can feel it and I can see where I'm going and, and so on. So that's, that's that. Um, we're gonna start with a whole chicken. Now, uh, we're gonna cut this into what's called a, a, a French uh, breast. So to do that, I put the chicken on the side. I look at the wings here, uh, and I go all the way down to the very last, um, the very last knuckle right here, right? So the joint right here where, where it meets the rest of the breast. So I'm gonna take my boning knife, and I'm going to cut all the way around, right? I'm gonna cut all the way around um, that, that bone. Um, I wanna remove all that, that little meat. Now, this is certainly usable meat, um, I can certainly do um, cut this off the the bones. Um, obviously, the wing I can use for another dish itself. Um, this has a lot of collagen on it as well, so I can certainly use this for a stock. Um, I could cut the meat, and I can certainly use this for things like uh, um, like a bratwurst, like a sausage, um, pate, uh, that type of thing. So that will help with utilization and, and utilizing all parts of it. So um, once I have that. What I do is I, I pull back towards the joint right here, right? Um, and that will pop most of the meat off. Uh, sometimes you get a little bit of a, 
the meat here that gets um, that gets stuck in it, but that will pop this wing off right there, right? So now that wing came off, like I said, we'll save this for stock and so on, so you can see it's nice clean. Um, and then this bone, that's your wing bone, it's still attached to the breast. So then we do the same thing on the other side, right? Uh, down to the bone. We'll scrape off that meat right there. Um, and again, uh, easiest way to do it is look at the natural way the, the joints move and basically what you're doing is you're dislocating the, the, the joint. So now we have that. Now I like to start with um, cutting this little fat right here, this excess fat right there. So we're going to cut in between the breast and the leg and the thigh. We want to make sure that you're not cutting into the breast or into the thigh. Um, so nice and easy there. We're going to cut that excess of skin there. So now we have um, the separated all the way, right? So the next thing I like to do is um, I like to take the chicken, put it on its side, come right here to the thigh, and we wanna remove what's called the, um, the oyster, right? So there's these little two pieces of meat right here that are attached to the thigh. Um, you want to keep, that has a lot of flavor into it, um, mm -hmm. and so what you wanna do is you wanna leave that um, attached to the tie. So what you want to do is you want to bring your knife, keep your chicken on, on the side right here, bring your knife. Um, when you get to the tie right here, it's kind of this right here. So what you want to do is you want to scoop it out a little bit, right? So um, it will it will slightly start popping off, but you can see it right here, so, right? So that's, that's what you want to pull out. So now when you come here, you just follow the natural seam of the chicken. And as you're pulling the chicken, you're not pulling the chicken per se, but as you're kind of lifting up a little bit, you will start seeing where that bone is. So you want to go follow that bone structure right there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, right? Now, other thing you can do is when you get here, you wanna cut your, there, when you get to the, to the where the oyster is, you can certainly use, um, pop, use your finger to kind of pop it out. And again, we talk about filling and we talk about part of the reason why I don't wear the, the gloves when I'm fabricating the protein is that that will help with 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 that you get the feeling for where it's at and where you should be going with your knife um so we're going to do that um cut that there right again we're going to follow the natural seam right there it will as you start popping it off uh, popping it back a little bit you will you will uh, be able to see where you're going right so now we have another piece right here right so we're going to put this here like i said we have our container that we're working into um so at this point we have the breast, right? Uh, two breasts, we have two loads right here. So I like to cut just a little bit here just to give myself a little bit more of a, uh, um, a firm base, right? Um, and it kind of comes a little flatter. So you're gonna take the kill bone right here. So you're gonna put your knife right down the middle, right there. Um, now you're gonna take your knife and you're going to scrape right next to the bone, right? But you want to be careful because you don't want to cut into the breast right here, right? So all this meat is going to be um, what we call uh, usable meat, right? A usable um, product. So you want to kind of bring your knife and just scrape that bone right there. So you're going to go all the way down, right? So when you get here, you're going to cut down. That will facilitate the removal of, of the, the breast, the one breast, right? So now. We talk about living it French style, so you want to be careful, and you can probably see it right here, you want to be careful that you don't cut this bone off. So one way that I like to do is, I like to hold on to it as I'm cutting, right? Now the chicken is facing away from me, so I like to hold on to that, and that will show me where I want to go with the knife, right? So now you have that, okay? Certainly you can, uh, want to be careful to not uh, have a lot of um, tear in the skin. You want the skin to stay on, that will help with flavor. Obviously that will help with texture, crispiness, um, and, and so on. So we have that. And now we are going to, um, you remove the other one. So you do the same thing. Now you go on the other side of the, of the kill bone and you do the same thing, right? You start scraping that, that knife, um, start scraping the bone and remove that right there, cut all the way through, right? Um, 
cut that there and then again you can see now where I'm at I'm at the bone right here now there's a little bit of meat here suddenly you want to remove all of that I kind of left a little bit there that you can use um, so you want to try to get that knife really close right um, so again I hold on to that bone um, and now I actually flip this so the chicken is facing me but that will let me show that will show me where that bone and that joint is and so again now we have um, a thigh right? or I'm sorry a, a, a breast a French what we call a French breast right that's how you break a chicken down that's chicken fabrication right so certainly now you can use these um, you will break this down um, more and you could use this for a stack um, to make soups and so on that will get some flavor you will certainly uh, roast it and and put a uh, let them cook for a couple of hours that will get to flavor now we talked about feeding four people out of out of one chicken right well how do we do that we have um, four pieces only well what we're going to do is we're going to now separate um, our leg and our thighs from each other right and uh, we're going to look at there's that natural seam right here you can see that that white part right there um, that's not that's the natural seam um, again we go back to filling right you want to be able to feel what you're doing you want to be able to to see that um, and and so you can also feel right here where the joints the the thigh bone and the leg bone or the dromed bone um, that's where they meet so that's where you want to put your knife right um, you don't want to hear any you don't want to get any resistance um, if you are if you feel um, any resistance you're you're hitting the bone so you're not in the right place right um, but that's that's how you will do that right so now we have a drum and a thigh um, and we're gonna do the same thing right here right it goes right through right um, so there you go now we have um, a, a two thighs we have a, two two drums and we have two breasts right you can certainly French this as well um, and, and I'll show you, but we'll do the same concept that we did on the bone at the beginning, on that breastbone at the beginning, right? You take your knife, um, cut around all the way, and straight that, get that meat to come off, right? Um, now again, just a couple different ways to do this, right? Um, so, a couple of chefs that I've, uh, I've seen before, what they do is, they look at this natural movement of the, of the, the bones, and essentially, again, you're, you're trying to uh, dislocate, for lack of a better word. Um, so you will pop it against whichever side is normally going. So you will press this um, or press against your knife and it will pop, right? That's one way of doing it. Um, I actually like to um, cut here a little bit. So again, I look at where the joint is and, and I just cut there. And that will help this... Um, extra excess meat come off, right? Um, so sometimes, again, you, you want to scrape all of that. Now, this is just for presentation, right? You certainly don't have to do this. Um, this is just, uh, it will help with presentation. Um, it will look a little nicer, but again, um, and that you don't, certainly don't have to do this um, all the time or every time you, you, you break chicken down or you fabricate chicken. So, um, we have that again. We'll save this for um, stock, right? So now we have our, what we're going to use for a roast chicken, right? Um, you can remove the tenderloin here. Um, certainly, you can uh, if, you, if you if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to leave it on for for this purpose. Uh, but again, certainly you can remove that. Um, you can then use that um, for another dish, and so on. So the idea um, is that you want to use as much of the of the chicken as you possibly can right um so now we have the two breasts the two thighs and the two legs well we're gonna roast these together um we're gonna roast this whole right and after that we're gonna break it down so that we serve for for um for portions now um i kind of walk you through a little bit but but um the way you will do this is you will after this are cooked you will cut this in half and now you have a bone in piece of breast and a bone less um, piece of breast uh, you will roast this again. Um, you can certainly remove the bone before and to do that you will just scrape kind of along the bone. Take that. Um, I prefer to leave it on just again flavor and, and so on. Um, you can serve it without the bone after that. We'll pull it out. Uh, it will put pretty fast. But what you will do is you will then serve a, um, a boning 
white meat, right? Bone in breast with a boneless dark meat, so either a thigh or, or, or a leg, um, and then a bone in piece of breast, or I'm sorry, bone in piece of uh, dark meat, so uh, we'll use these, the, the drum, with a boneless piece of white meat. So then you will end up with eight pieces that you can then break down into four portions, and each, each plate will have a piece of white meat as well as a piece of dark meat. Um, and so that's how you will do it. So we're gonna put, get this into the oven, um, and then we'll show you how to roast it.